Choose your own adventure movies. A new way to look at the horror genre, or kind of a gimmick. If you're anything like me, you probably have a love-hate relationship with Black Mirror, but you were still super excited about the new release that was coming out today. There were some leaked details, leaked release dates, and finally today we saw what all the rumors were about. Black Mirror just came out with a choose-your-own-adventure hour-and-a-half-ish long movie on Netflix. I just finished watching or playing it, I guess, and I think that I can sum up the whole experience definitely as entertaining. Now I'm gonna keep this whole video spoiler free since this is super new and I really do want you to go and experience it for yourself, um, which I guess spoiler alert for this video is that I do recommend it. Don't mind my hair today, I tried doing pin curls last night and now it's just like really big, I don't know, it's just big so I guess I'm getting in the 80s spirit for this video. <laughs> Speaking of the 80s, um, ever since Stranger Things came out in 2016, there has been a huge surge of 80s related, 80s themed content all over the place, not just on Netflix, but on other streaming services. One movie I watched recently that I really enjoyed, but uh, was definitely kind of playing off the popularity of Stranger Things was Summer of 84, which was on Shudder. If you guys don't watch Shudder, not sponsored, but like, please sponsor me. <laughs> that was a Shutter exclusive movie set in the 80s, and I think that the setting of the movie happening in the 80s was a huge part of why it was enjoyable. And similarly, Bandersnatch, which I think was also uh, coincidentally enough set in the exact same year, 1984, if I remember correctly. I could go look at my laptop, but then I would have to like run over there. Since this movie was set in the 80s, you know you have a guaranteed rockin' soundtrack. I'm a huge fan of 80s pop rock. Um, I just think it's super fun. It's one of my favorite genres of music, if you can even consider like 80s music to be its own separate genre. I do, I love it. I thought that that part, the soundtrack, was pretty enjoyable. And of course you have all of these lovely 80s throwbacks, um, you know, the popularity of like lion bars, they said something about a lion bar at the very beginning, uh, text-based video games, which I haven't really played many text-based video games myself, the only one that I can actually remember is Peasant Quest, which was a Homestar Runner game, so that came out in like the early 2000s. I don't even know if that counts. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember Peasant Quest. That game was hilarious. But yeah, so you have a lot of these fun 80s themes that we've all come to know and love, even people like me who weren't around in the 80s. But if you are kind of getting tired of the 80s themed content that's all over the place, especially in the horror genre right now and sci-fi and everything, um, I would say still give Bandersnatch a chance. It sounds like I'm saying it wrong every time. Bandersnatch. 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 I would say still give Bandersnatch a chance because it was it was just the setting. It's not that you were getting um, most of the enjoyment or most of the content out of the fact that it was set in the 80s. You were getting most of the content and most of the enjoyment out of the fact that it's a choose your own adventure game. I'm hoping a lot of you guys have fond memories like I do of the Goosebumps choose your own adventure books. Those were really the only ones that I read when I was younger. I can't remember if I read any that like weren't horror, but I have always kind of associated that whole choose your own adventure style with the horror genre. So I was admittedly really excited when I found out that that's what the new season or movie from Black Mirror is. It sounds like we're still getting a season, but then this is just kind of like supplementary. Either that or it's gonna be considered the first episode of season five. Still not totally sure on that, but it does seem like we're getting a full set of new episodes of Black Mirror, so you can look forward to that or not if you've been turned off of this show based on some of the shitty episodes that have come up in the last couple seasons, but I, I think it's almost fair to look at Bandersnatch as being its own standalone piece. Um, that being said, it does have that cross-genre feel that Black Mirror does. Black Mirror is kind of all over the place with their themes, but also the quality of their episodes. One thing that I really like about Black Mirror is that they don't pigeonhole themselves into one genre, so people do tend to put it in the horror category, which is 
why I'm talking about it on this channel, but there are definitely elements of drama and sci-fi and even comedy. And I really like that this lack of classification kind of allows them to branch off into a lot of different directions. And sometimes in one episode, you can get a variety of different experiences, whereas a show that just labels themselves as horror can kind of fit into this really confined box and we have these certain expectations of where the story will go and that was one thing I do have to say about Bandersnatch. That was really cool that they had a lot of cross-genre content going on in there. Now the one thing about Choose Your Own Adventure books that I did not like when I was a kid was that I wanted to read every ending and it was really difficult to get back to the point in the story where you wanted to make a different decision, like trying to remember, or like bookmarking different pages and thinking like, oh, I want to go back and, and try this other choice. It just, it was really difficult. But the way that Bandersnatch is set up is that you can actually go through in one sitting and experience all the endings. It's just that, you know, obviously whichever choices you make will determine the first ending that you see. So you don't actually have to keep track of like which choices you made at what point. The movie kind of does that all for you. I also misinterpreted that at first thinking that it was trying to force you into one ending, but what's actually happening is that like you have already experienced the ending. Now you can go back and choose something else and go down a different path. Now throughout the stories, you get a really good mix of all the different genres that Black Mirror tends to touch. Without getting too much into the storyline, the protagonist is a young game designer who gets hired to make a choose-your-own-adventure video game, Bandersnatch, based on his favorite choose-your-own-adventure book, Bandersnatch. And there's this whole mystery about what happened to the author of the book and how that may or may not affect the protagonist in this movie. So you do have this overall theme of an eerie horror-like mystery, but throughout the story, depending on what you choose, you end up getting some more like emotional dramatic endings, um, and there's even a point where it branches off into something that is pretty funny. Um, the whole thing is super meta. The entire movie is super, super meta. I found it to be really funny, especially when it comes to a point at the comedy part of the storyline. I thought that it was done really well. It was just very tongue-in-cheek in kind of a charming way. Now as far as whether or not this format is a gimmick, I definitely went into it expecting that, you know, there was probably going to be a 60 to 70 percent chance that it would be super gimmicky, and I don't know if I necessarily agree with my initial conclusions. I think that this particular story could have only been told in this format, it just wouldn't have had the same impact or made the same viewing experience, obviously, but like, <laughs> I think you'll understand when you watch it. Um, this story would have felt a little flat if it was just a regular episode um, or a regular movie. I think that making it into this interactive choose-your-own-adventure experience is what really gave it this charm. I think that this movie was overall deserving of the hype, but what I'm afraid of is that if a bunch of people watch this and give it very positive reviews, that we're going to see this same format pop up over and over and over again. I think it would do Black Mirror as a series a huge disservice to ever do this format ever again, because it wasn't just the fact that this was a choose-your-own-adventure movie that made this charming, it was the fact that it was a choose-your-own-adventure movie about someone making a choose-your-own-adventure game, so it was really appropriate to tell this particular story in this format. Now, I'm not super worried about Black Mirror doing this, I think that they're smarter than that, but I'm worried about the fact that since Netflix has, like, built this infrastructure to allow choose-your-own-stories on Netflix, that other companies will start doing the same thing. I think that this could be cute for like a kids movie or something, but 
I would honestly be thoroughly annoyed if I were to see another horror or sci-fi kind of movie done in this format. And like I said before, all we needed was one kind of creepy, successful TV show on Netflix to be set in the 80s for like every fucking horror movie and series for the last two years to also be set in the 80s. So I wouldn't be too surprised if someone like came in and, and took this concept and tried to apply it to something else. I really hope that that doesn't happen, but if it does, obviously it's not fair to take that frustration out on Bandersnatch, so looking at this movie as a standalone piece, I would highly recommend it. It's definitely a get what you get situation from the concept, so if you like the idea of a choose your own adventure, you will like this movie. I think it's a super fun experience. As far as the story is concerned, there are enough twists and turns and surprises to make it thoroughly entertaining. And bottom line is, I recommend it. I think this was really cool. Um, I'm super proud of Black Mirror for branching out a little bit. And I'm really excited for season five. I'm just hoping that they uh, skip on some of those stinkers that they tend to throw into every season. But we can only hope. Have you guys watched Bandersnatch yet? Because if you have, let me know in the comments what you thought of it, what you liked, what you didn't like. Let me know if you liked the choose your own adventure style as much as I did. If you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.